back and how was your day? How is life? Hope things are good. I am here with kind of one of my favorite videos to do. It is an unboxing of a subscription box and this is my August Lip Monthly. So one, packaging, totally different. It used to be a blue bag, wasn't really feeling it. Chic Monthly, don't know if that's a theme for this month or if that'll be the new bag, but I'm loving it. You do you, Lip Monthly, because you're doing it right this month. Super excited. One, I know I'm going to use this bag again. Finally, going to have use for one of my Lip Monthly bags. If you don't know what Lip Monthly is right now, it is $12.99.95 a month. And you can buy like chunks of subscriptions for a year, for three months, six months, whatever. The more you buy, the more you save. I will leave a link down below for you guys. If you use the code Lip Lover, I think, Lip Lover 5 or something like that, I'll put whatever it is down below. You get your September bag for only $5. And that does include shipping, which is awesome. So check it out. If you've already checked it, Lip Monthly, I want to know what you got in your bag, if you like it, what your favorite product is, whatever you want to tell me down in the comments below. And if you want to see more of these Lip Monthlies, please give them a thumbs up. I have ordered another three month subscription and they will be coming. And if you want to see them, I will show you. I will put them on my face and show you. Anyways, into the bag. I have four products. It says, we're so excited for you to get all super chic products that your August Lip Monthly bag includes. We want to honor that summer is almost over with a bunch of great and chic products and a bag to match that theme. Okay, so bag is the theme. It looks like I have a $25 product, a $3.99, a $7, and an $18. So that's pretty good. Generally, they range from like $35 to $55. So paying $12, $13, whatever, that is not bad at all. So the first product I am pulling out of here is City Color Lip Butter. And this is $3.99. So I put this on when I was swatching them just before I started filming this intro and this, it's very sheer as you'll see in the swatches, but I have a huge flaw with the packaging. I don't know if it's just mine or if it's all of them in general. So you roll it up to put it on and ready, ready, hang on, wait, maybe it'll even shake down. Okay. It doesn't stay up. That's my issue. Ready, right, right. Oh, okay. Okay. Now it stays up. Okay. Basically you have to roll it up all the way, but if you roll it up just like a little bit to put it on the car, it just, no. It doesn't stay up. There is, it doesn't work. But it is very sheer and definitely feels very moisturizing. But it kind of has like a scent. What does it remind me of? It reminds me of a, like almost like an air freshener. But it, okay. In the long run, it reminds me of like little kid makeup. The packaging feels cheap, but I think City Color or yeah, City Color is kind of cheaper packaging. But I've tried a blush from them and I loved it. So I don't know how I feel about this one. As a moisturizing lip balm that I put on before I actually put on like matte lipstick or something, I will definitely use this. Would I purchase it myself? Probably not. And the next item in this bag is the one that is currently on my lips. It was the last one that I swatched and I think it's my favorite. I don't usually like orange shades and you guys know that if you watch my last lip monthly. Kinda hated it. Kinda love this one though. So this is the Pop Velvet Lip Pencil. It doesn't say what shade it's in though. I didn't, unless I peeled off plastic and didn't realize it. But it says this one is $25. Super moisturizing, goes on really, really easily. It kind of, like up close, it looks almost sheer, like you can see my lip color underneath it. So I do recommend if you get one like this, and, or if you get a lip monthly bag and yours, you get this in yours, put on concealer or like foundation just lightly over your lips. It definitely will make the color pop out a little more. This has a little bit of foundation underneath it and this one looks a lot better. So it's not a super, super opaque lipstick, so that tip definitely helped me out. And the next thing I was a little bit confused about, so this is from Starlux, and on the card here it says Starlux Matte Lipstick, and this is $7. One, I honestly thought this was a lip pencil. It's in the form of a lip pencil. Two, it is definitely very matte. Three, love the color. Four, back to the, it's a lip pencil, but it feels like a lipstick. I don't know if when you buy the full size, like maybe this is a mini size, it's just like a tester why it's in lip pencil form. It definitely has like, a matte lipstick feel to it, like a lipstick texture and everything it goes on really, really smoothly and really well. It's definitely not forgiving on dry lips, though I found that out. I have super dry lips, so you can see all the cracks and stuff. From a distance, it probably looks fabulous. This color is amazing for one. I definitely will get use out of this, but I don't understand why it's in a lip pencil form. I would have loved a full-on, full-size, actual shaped lipstick. So I'm confused about that, but happy I got this. Does that make sense? And the last thing, I kept the original packaging instead of just like the actual item itself because one, this is freaking adorable. It's like this light teal and has a whole bunch of different other green, seafoam, blue range of unique colors and they've got a little, little, little starfish on them. And it is a light diffuser. It says Illuminator and Bronzer Duo. And this is by So Susan. So this is $18. Okay, mixed feelings about this. Yes, love the packaging. Two, 
it comes with like a little mirror and then the two duos. I don't know how people get these little tiny things on their brushes. Like for a bronzer and like highlight brush, like my brush won't fit in there. The one I generally use will not fit in there. It's going to be like half coated on my brush and I just, I don't like small things. If that whole thing was maybe a bronzer or a highlighter or even a little bit bigger, I would have appreciated it. So a duo, I think this is more of, I don't know, something I probably won't use just because it is inconvenient for my brushes. I don't know. Oh, otherwise, like the swatching, the gold highlight is just like, it kind of has bigger flecks of gold, not like an overall kind of shimmer. Like I can see clearly little dots and it's kind of like a yellowy gold. It would be nice on somebody with a little bit warmer skin tone than myself, I think. Personally, me, I don't think it would look that good. The bronzer itself is a very kind of light shade. It doesn't look too orangey, so I'm going to try and figure out the brush situation. If you guys have any tips or comments how to get things out of here and apply them nicely and slip them on the brush and like an even coating, if that makes any sense. Maybe I'm just weird and everybody else is fine with using these. I just have, like, I don't understand how it's supposed to work. So comment down below if you have any tips to help me out. But overall, I don't think I would purchase this myself. And in case you're wondering, this is in the palette Coco Dust. The bag this month came to a grand total of $53.99. So for paying $12.99 or $12.95, it is totally worth it. You're getting an extra, like, almost $40 worth of products, which is awesome, and I highly recommend Lip Monthly. If you're somebody who is trying to grow your lip collection like myself, it is going to be your best friend. But like I said, if you want to sign up for Lip Monthly and get your next September bag for $5, everything will be linked down below. And until my next video, if you'd like to check out either of these videos, click on them and watch some more of me, because who doesn't want to watch me? I don't, but I don't blame you if you do. <laughs> Bye, guys.